Hello and welcome Zamora Gaming fans to week two of the UGL Draft. I'm your host Joe Zamora here and we're about to face Pat Matt. Pack Matt. Uh, Patrick. <laughs> for our week two battle. Good luck, have fun. And let's see how this goes. Okay, he leads off Sir Bird, which, you know, predictable. So I went ahead and led JJ Watt. So um, the plan behind JJ Watt is... Of course, take care of Sir Bird, but also get uh, screens up as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a reflect up real quick because I think he's going to switch out. Predicting the electric move, I would assume. Oh, and he goes to Shelly. So we do get a reflect up here. Not exactly the Pokemon I thought he would go to, but that's fine. So now we're going to go to Bubble Boy. Because uh, we're going to try to get a Toxic off on this thing, if anything. And the good thing is we do have a Reflect Up, so our defenses are much better than they normally are. And Earth Power comes in, of course. That's why I didn't want to stay in there. And uh, not only do we resist it, our special defense is really high, so it doesn't hurt to try to go for it there. Um, I do think it goes back to uh, to Corviknight here. But um, just in case it doesn't, I'm still going to go Toxic. We lose nothing doing this. And if he does go Corviknight, uh, I'm sure we have some other Pokemon we can go out to. But uh, Shelly goes out here and goes to Bambino. So whoever Bambino is is about to get uh, Toxic here. And that is his uh, Zero Aura. So I'm not too opposed to that thing going down here. All right. So we do still have a reflect up, but this is not the Pokemon we want in against Bambino here. Uh, luckily, it's poisoned. So we're going to go ahead and get the... What Pokemon does he have in the back? Okay. So... Um, Nothing too threatening. Well, aside from the Entei. But uh, we're going to go ahead and go to Alola here to take the hits. Uh, we are Rocky Helmet, so that's going to add to the residual poison damage. And we save our Raquinid for uh, Gastrodon later. Which is always good. And of course he goes for Knockoff, but should do Rock Damage first. So Rock Damage goes off here. And uh, obviously that did nothing. So we're pretty much safe to uh, sit here and... Well, I would say Calm Mind, but I don't want to put all my eggs in the basket of Alola. Mostly because we got to deal with um, Entei. And it resists both our moves. Um, but you know what? Let's go ahead and just do this. Let's Calm Mind up and uh, see what he ends up going after Bambino goes down. if Or if he even just switches out here. Okay, so Bambino switches out. Who does he go to? He goes to Pupper. So, of course, I figured Entei was coming in for that. But uh, we go ahead and get a Calm Mind up. <clears throat> we do have Reflect up still, so I'm not too worried about this. We do have Light Clay, so it's uh, eight turns instead of five. And uh, we're going to go ahead and go for another Calm Mind. We should still be good there. Okay, so he does pack the Iron Head. Doesn't do anything at all, really. And we get another Calm Mind up. And we're about to find out how much we actually do against this thing. Because we are not invested in Special Attack at all. I kind of relied on Calm Mind. So uh, let's just go ahead and go for the Stab Draining Kiss and see where it goes from here. So even at plus two, we only do like an eighth damage. So nothing to write home about. Iron Head's going to come off again. And uh, we still have a Reflect up. Um, 
I'm thinking we go Sam Max here and just Earthquake next turn. Uh, I don't want to take an Iron Head too much. Okay, let's go to Sam Max here. Our Reflect is still up. We'll be able to live the hit. And, um... Hey, hopefully you get a Dragon Dance. Oh, he withdraws Pupper. Who does he go to here? Kitte. Okay, so Kitte comes in. Uh, I wish we would go to attack there. That would have helped us out a little bit. But now we got to deal with this thing. And, of course, it's Prankster. And our Reflect finally wears off. So we're going to go ahead and... Do we stay in here and just Dragon Claw? I mean, we don't have Hill Bell or nothing, so we're gonna stay. We're gonna stay parried uh, for the battle. Um, I say let's just go ahead and get a Dragon Dance up. If we can at least get two, we'll stay at even even speed. And okay, so he's just gonna get some screens up. So that's even better for us. So I'm just gonna Dragon Dance here. Dragon Dance in his face. Uh, speed's still great. I know Thunder Wave's coming eventually. But uh, if we can at least get to plus three, it'll still act as if we are plus one speed, and then we'll definitely be plus three attack. And here comes that thunder wave I was telling you about. And already it takes effect, turn one. So RNG is not with us right here, but we are going to go ahead and go for another dragon dance. Uh, hopefully it just goes for light screen. Nope, it withdraws, and let's see where it goes to. Okay, so it does decide to go Shelly here. And it's probably going to hit us with an Ice Beam more than anything. So we're just going to kind of stay in here. I'm not too worried about taking the hit. And uh, let's go ahead and go for Dragon Claw. Alright, so we still go first. Dragon Claw plus two gets it down to half, which is good. Rocky Helmet does take effect. And we are going to take an Ice Beam here. But uh, not too worried about it. Uh, Sam Max isn't my sweeper. And we seem to hang on. So we're going to go ahead and go for the other Dragon Claw and get knocked out here by the Rocky Helmet. Sorry, guys. I can't see the HP because I put my Charizard in a horrible spot. But, you know, it is what it is. Too late now. <laughs> but Shelly is a survivor. Oh, he withdraws Shelly, and where does he go to? He goes to Kitte. So, assuming what this does, Kitte might go down. Well, it's going to live because of the Reflect. I lose some HP to the Life Orb, so, I mean, fair sack on his part. So, I'm going to go ahead and go here to JJ Watt. And not sure if it has an attacking move, but we're going to go ahead and get our screens back up. Alright, so he gets his light screen up. Uh, let's see if he goes to... Um, let's see who he ends up going to. Uh, we're going to get our reflect up though, and then we're going to get our light screen up. And see what happens here. Kitty can't thunder wave us, thankfully. <laughs> Alright, so it does go out to Shelly. We get our light screen up so we can live anything there. And let's go ahead and go to... I kind of want a little big fist boy here, but I know I'm going to take a... The Earth Power. I'll just go Bubble Boy here. Um, JJ Watt's too important. Because uh, Corviknight's still real prevalent in the back. So, okay. It gets off a free recover. I'm cool with that. So, does it stay in here? And if it doesn't, who does it go to? I'm cool with going toxic again. Stay in. Let's 
Stay in. You know you want to. Toxic me back. I'm cool with that. Okay, so Shelly, of course, goes out. Probably back to um, Bambino. Yep. So Bambino is in. But it's already toxic. Okay, so here we go. We have Reflect up, so we're not too worried about that. So let's go ahead and go for a Leech Life here. We'll take the hit. Probably no problem. We aren't defensively invested, but the Reflect is still good. So Plasma Fist comes off. Of course, very super effective move. Um, I don't think it goes through screens. Or at least I hope it doesn't. And um, we take that no problem. Well, we did over half, but Leech Life comes off, and we're doing pretty well. So Bubble Boy's still here. And, of course, with Leftovers, we're way up. Not exactly where we were, but better than we would have been. And uh, we're going to keep him alive still because, again, uh, we don't want to take that big hit. So we're going to go back to Alola here. Because even Bubble Boy is pretty good for the uh, Entei later. As long as we keep screens up anyway. All right, Plasma Fist goes off again. I, could, I didn't remember if I saw Life Orb. But either way, Draining Kiss will probably take this thing out here. Or Toxic is going to take this thing out here. So Bambino goes down, no problem. Okay, so if he goes um, Entei here, I think I'm just going to stay in and sack uh, Alola off. Oh, he's going Surbird. We got to switch out now. I don't want that thing setting up on us. So we're going to go ahead and go straight to JJ Watt. Not even going to think about it. And we're going to click Thunderbolt on the next turn. Even if he brings Gastro in, we're fine. Because we get a free switch to Araquanid. And then uh, we'll predict that switch into whatever it decides to go to. And go, go back into something else. All right, so Iron Head is what it goes with. I'm going to predict the switch to uh, Gastrodon here right now. And I'm going to go Big Fist Boy. Let's do it. No, you know what? Let's go Toxic Jelly. Predicting the switch to Gastro, and we're going to go Toxic Jelly. Come on. Make the switch. Big Boy Play. Let's go. You got it. Switch out. Yes. Woohoo! Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful read. And, um, is our screens? No. Okay, so we still have light screen. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the grass knot here. We are max attack timid. This should take this thing out no problem. Zero Aura is no longer an issue. And um, we do have Thunderbolt for Surbird. Uh, we should be good. We should be good. Okay, so Shelly comes out, goes to Pupper. So Pupper comes in. That's fine. It'll take this Grass Knot, which is residual damage. And then we can go for Meteor Beam next turn. That kind of helps us out right here. So there's no more screens on the field. Meteor Beam is going to come off and do a lot of damage. There's no way Pupper should be faster than us. Because we are max speed timid. And this plus one attack should take out Pupper no problem. Nihilego debut. Let's see if it's a good one. How is Pupper faster? It's Scarf. It has to be Scarf. We did not live that at all. That sucks. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, it is what it is there. So, didn't get to show that off at all. That sucks. 
Oh, man, man, man. I'm just going to go toxic here. See what we can toxic. Probably goes Corviknight, knowing that we like to toxic. That's ass. That just ruined our whole game plan. I mean, great play on his part. It's Scarf and uh, Inte I didn't expect. But, you know, sucks that that has to happen. Okay, he withdrew Pupper. Probably go Sir Knight. Yep, Sir Bird. Okay, well, here we go. Trying to make this work. Now we can go JJ Watt here. I mean, at this point, we're we're behind. We're gonna lose this battle. Uh, that scarf play was great. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that now. So, uh, as far as I can say, it's GG. I think he's definitely gonna. Yeah, you turn. Probably straight to Inte, since it's scarf. Oh, goes out to Shelly. A lot of back and forth here. Uh, I guess we go to Bubble Boy. <laughs> He's just going to have to wither my team slowly because I'm not just going to sit here and take the hit. Earth Power comes off. And I'm going to assume he's more afraid of our Toxic than we are of him switching or staying in. So I'm just going to go Liquidation here. I mean, I got to start getting some chip damage off. And if he stays in, then oh well. It is what it is. But he actually switches. So Sir Bird's going to come in, take a decent hit. Probably not going to do too bad, though, because it's, I believe, resisted. Uh, not resisted, but uh, he's really, really bulky. So Gastrodon being on this team is a bane of my existence. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go Sticky Webs here. Not that it's going to matter. All right, he goes Brave Bird. We're going to get taken out here. And slowly but surely, our team's whittled down. I just lost another match, too. That's why it's just like... I went into this one already with <laughs> negative negative effects from that last battle. So it's just like, it's whatever. I don't care. Alright. Right here, we're just going to go ahead and double Iron Bash. I don't care that it's not very effective. He's going to go into something else, so... Let's see what he decides to do. He'll probably just um, body press if he has it. Oh, so he goes U-turn. Let's see what double iron bash can do here. All right, goes out to Shelly. It's going to quad resist this double iron bash. So yeah, ain't gonna do shit. Uh, Rocky Helmet's also gonna do more than what we're doing, so. Uh, probably just gonna let my Pokemon go down at this point, because there's really no point in switching out here. Uh, let's go ahead and go uh, Darkest. Let's go Body Press. It'll probably do more. Probably faster than us, though, so it might not matter. We are assault vested. Uh, 
because he does have a lot of special Pokemon. So we'll see how it goes from there. So Earth Power goes off first. We live it and uh, Body Press. Let's see if it knocks it out. Not even close. Okay, well, we'll just keep going Body Press because there's not much else we can do here. And that's really unnecessary, but okay. Uh, he goes ahead and goes for the cover here. And we're just going to go for the body press. I mean, differential is good, right? So I uh, guess that's what he's trying to preserve. Big Fist Boy goes down. We'll go Lola here. We're going to click Giga Dream, but either way, it's not going to go down. And either way, he's going to switch, so it's not going to matter. Withdrew, uh, goes to Kite. Oh, that thing's going to go down, I think. Nope, still doesn't. Fantastic. Well, Prankster recover, probably. This is going to go for Draining Kiss. So, Lola gets a kill. Uh... Entei probably comes in here, finishes us off with Iron Head. Uh, then I'll Thunderbolt. He'll probably switch to Gastro, and then I'm just going to explode. So that's probably the end game here. Yep, so Pupper comes in as predicted. Now we're going to go ahead and Draining Kiss. It's going to knock us out because it's Scarfed. Well, we're going to go first because Triage. But Iron Head's going to knock us out because we don't have a uh, Reflect Up. But we are going to Draining Kiss here. Get some chip damage off. And the only non-attacking move we have on... Uh, well, non-electric attacking move we have on the other one is uh well, you know what screw it let's go jj watt take the iron head go for thunderbolt then explode probably go down to this iron head anyway Yeah, screw it. Thunderbolt. Let's go. Oh, goes for the Iron Head again. Goes for the kill. Thunderbolt comes off. Takes Pupper down at least. So Pupper's gone. Probably goes Gastro now. Yep. Yeah, he still has Latias in the back too. So here we go. He's not getting this kill. But we might get one. We're going to go ahead and go for Explosion. I have a Brave Max Attack JJ Watt. Because um, that takes out Zerora. But uh, we took that thing out way earlier in the match. So at least we get a kill there with J.J. Watt before uh, before the end of the match. So at least we're lowering the differential. He was so wholeheartedly trying to preserve. And uh, we're just going to keep synthesizing on the uh, Corviknight. I'm sure it's pressure ability, so I don't know. But we're just going to drag this battle out. Why not? Probably make him go for Brave Birds and such. 
<laughs> let him wear down his own HP. Uh, but let's go ahead and go synthesis here. And if you're wondering why no one is Dynamax, it's because uh, this is a no Dynamax G Max league, which uh, takes a little bit of fun out of it. But you know, it is what it is. Iron Head comes off. Yeah, there you go. I would. I really wish we had a Rocky helmet. That would have been nice. Yeah, but I'm just going to go ahead and synthesis up as much as possible. All the way back to full. Give it to me. Oh, that's a crit. Yep. Synthesis again. Uh, if he gets a crit, we go down. So we're living. Not that it matters. We already lost this match. Uh, I'm surprised pressure hasn't taken down all of our synthesis yet. We still got five. I thought pressure was supposed to make you use two each time. But we here. Synthesising. Uh, he's not gonna run out of iron heads anytime soon. But I'm just gonna be annoying now. <laughs> uh, salt. I'm salty. Yes, I'm salty. So sorry, guys. Sorry for the salt, but I'm I'm gonna do it. We're gaining like 5 HP every time we synthesis. And a crit doesn't happen. So, so far so good. <laughs> He's probably pissed. He's like, dude, just stop. <laughs> I've been there, man. I've been there. Go for Brave Bird. Make it exciting. I'm just going to... I'm going to stop. I had one left. Is that an ultimate troll? Should I just go for the last one? Is it, is it more trolly just to leave one, one PP left? All right. Well, that's it for the battle, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Horrible week two battle. I don't know why I keep joining draft leagues because I'm terrible. But if you watch this long, thank you. Uh, we'll be starting more draft battles soon, and we'll see you guys next time.